Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Psychotech. In this video, I am going to discuss about hypothesis and types of hypothesis. So without any delay, let us start the video and understand the meaning of hypothesis in brief. A hypothesis is a precise testable statement of what the researchers predict will be the outcome of the study. And this usually involves proposing a possible relationship between two variables that are the independent variable and the dependent variable so what is the difference between independent and dependent variable the independent variable means what the researcher changes and the dependent variable means what the research measures next we have types of hypothesis so generally we have four types of hypothesis that are alternative hypothesis null hypothesis non-directional hypothesis and directional hypothesis i'm going to discuss all these four types of hypothesis in brief first of all let us start with alternative hypothesis the alternative hypothesis states that there is a relationship between the two variables that is the independent and dependent variables being studied and one variable has an effect on the other variable it also states that the results are not due to chance and that they are significant in terms of supporting the theory being investigated next we have null hypothesis the null hypothesis states that there is no relationship between the two variables being studied one variable does not affect the other variable it also states results are due to chance and are not significant in terms of supporting the idea being investigated so null hypothesis is opposite to alternative hypothesis in simple terms null hypothesis means there is no effect and alternative hypothesis means there is an effect next we have non-directional hypothesis a two-tailed non-directional hypothesis predicts that the independent variable will have an effect on the dependent variable but the direction of the effect is not specified for example there will be a difference in how many numbers are correctly recalled by children and adults. The fourth type of hypothesis is directional hypothesis, which is also called one-tailed directional hypothesis, which predicts the nature of effect of independent variable on the dependent variable. And if you look at the examples, adults will correctly recall more words than children. So in this, you can see this statement is direct statement now let us understand the hypothesis by taking an example so let us consider a hypothesis and hypothesis is student work better on monday morning than they do on a friday afternoon now if we decide to study this by giving the same group of students a lesson on a monday morning and on a friday afternoon and then measuring their immediate recall on the material covered in each session in which the alternative hypothesis states that the students will recall significantly more information on a monday morning than on a friday afternoon and the null hypothesis states that there will be no significant difference in the amount recalled on monday morning compared to a friday afternoon any difference will be due to chance or confounding factors so in this example you can clearly understand the difference between alternative and null hypothesis the null hypothesis is therefore the opposite of a alternative hypothesis in that it states that there will be no change in behavior at this point you might be asking why we seem so interested in the null hypothesis where the alternative hypothesis or experimental hypothesis is more important well yes it is however we can never 100 percent prove the alternative hypothesis what we do instead is see if we can disapprove or reject the null hypothesis if we reject the null hypothesis this doesn't really mean that our alternative hypothesis is correct but it does provide support for the alternative or experimental hypothesis so this was all about hypothesis and types of hypothesis see you in the next video with a new topic till then bye bye take care mm -hmm.